The agriculture sector is more inclined towards the use of advanced technologies to meet the increasing demand of food grains and other food products, translating into big opportunities for manufacturers. With me now is Chris Rhodes and Matt Rushing from Agco, a global leader in the design, manufacture and distribution of agricultural solutions. Well Matt, if I might start with you, from the traditional tractor, how has the farm machinery and technology industry developed and what machinery is most in demand today? So if you look back across Across the last 50 years of agriculture, there's been significant growth in machinery and also in the size of the machinery. We look at farms uh, 50 years ago where they would traditionally have fed between 10 and 20 people. Now farms are feeding over 200 people. So significant improvement in the machinery itself, but also in the technology around the machinery. We're seeing significant advancements in uh, precision ag technology, which drives uh, a lot of uh, data creation on the farm and the leveraging and using of that data to improve yields and reduce waste on the farm has become very paramount. Chris, you sell machinery worldwide. How does demand in different countries differ and where's the biggest market today? What's really interesting about the agricultural uh, equipment industry is how that demand varies in different places. If you look at the US, uh, Europe, Australia, most of South America, everyone's mechanized. It's just a matter of degrees how much technology they're using. Then you look at Africa and Asia, and you see some of the biggest, most sophisticated farms using the latest technology, but you also see the potential in literally hundreds of millions of farmers who haven't mechanized at all yet. We view it as our mission to improve agricultural productivity around the world. So we're trying to create better equipment, use data better, more refined farming practices. All these things are gonna to lead to a better quality of life. And farm subsidies are huge in the news in the UK at the moment. And in America, there's a call for tax credits on farm machinery. So which side of the argument do you stand? Agco for sure benefits in, in certain countries from farm subsidies. But on the other hand, in some countries, and, and these are important agricultural countries, we're at a disadvantage. And that may be because of where we manufacture, maybe because of where our public listing is, or what some of the technologies we have or don't have on, on some of our equipment. So what we try to do at Agco on the whole is pursue uh, ethical business practices and uh, involve ourselves in as many government programs as really are applicable. As we look ahead about farm subsidies, there may come a time when farm subsidies will be based on farming practices. So uh, the yield of the farm or the uh, which uh, fields lay fallow, all those types of things. And that's going to require good data management, technology like ours that can collect and analyze and report data so that these subsidies can be given out equitably. Matt, of course, since the financial crisis, farmers must have been spending less on machinery. This must have had a substantial impact on Agco. Well, as in any industry, there's always a pause. And right now we're seeing a pause in the agricultural industry. But the future is still very bright. If we look at uh, population growth, for example, we look at the change in everyone's diets trending more towards protein. Um, we, we, we still see a lot of big growth coming uh, for the future in agriculture. One of the things you're going to see over the next several years is the adoption of technology increase. So you're going to see more and more technology not only going on new equipment but also on uh, current equipment or older equipment to help that farmer in pre in increase that productivity on the farm. Um, there's going to be a need for that productivity gain over the coming years just to feed more people. So Chris, once farmers have made the initial investment in Agco equipment and technology, what kind of savings and advantages are they looking at? Well, using Fuse Technologies, which is Agco's uh, technology strategy that connects everything on the farm together, we think we have uh, some areas of, of advantage over our competition. The first is we have a two-pipe data strategy. That means we only ask for information from the farmers about the machines. We're unique in that we don't get any of the farmers' confidential information about the farm. The second area where we provide value is in our mixed fleet. So Agco is a product of mergers, and in fact, we just are celebrating our 25-year anniversary this year. But we have always been a mixed fleet because of that. And we understand that customers buy different equipment for different reasons. So we want to make sure that our system is open so that they can utilize their full fleet. The third area of advantage for us is our focus on mobility. So we're working with partners who are from the consumer side of the electronics industry to make sure that we deliver on that promise. And then the fourth area is really about partnerships. We don't think that any company can deliver the best solution for every agricultural challenge. So we're gonna focus on the interface of integrating technology into our machines. That way the customer can have access to the best solutions from wherever they come so that they can integrate those solutions with our machinery and, and ultimately to the ground. 
Well, finally, Matt, look into the future now. And what technologies is Agco working on and what challenges are they designed to overcome? You can, can see a lot of uh, a race towards automation. Less and less uh, labor is available, less and less skilled labor is available. I think that's where we're going to focus. I think we're going to see more and more sensor technology, more and more sensor fusion on the machine, which would uh, ultimately drive almost a central nervous system where the machine almost becomes more aware of what it's doing and how it's doing it. I think the other place that you're going to see a, a real revolution is in the data side of what's, uh, what's happening on the farm. There's lots of data being co collected on the farm. If you think about all the data points, sensors, and other pieces of information that are collected every day the farmer goes to the field, that data is not being adequately leveraged today to improve the operation. So we can see in the future where more and more data is going to be collected, analyzed real time, and then provided back to the grower so that it can utilize it uh, to improve uh, his business. We also want to leverage the data for the agronomic value that it provides, right? There's lots of information coming out on how we can improve yields, how we can improve fertilizer application, how we can improve soil health. That's where we really see the future going and that's where we see some real revolutions. And again, Fuse Technology is perfectly positioned uh, to be able to provide that, uh, that, uh, that value. Matt, Chris, thank you. Thank, thank you. you.